As part of efforts to increase local poultry production and consequently local consumption, 50 local poultry producers are scheduled to benefit from the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Forestry and Marine Resources World Bank's funded Food Security Enhancement Program. Ahead of the arrival of the breed stock, the Ministry has prioritized the awareness and education of farmers, placing emphasis on brooding and post-hatch management. Two batches of farmers were trained by poultry consultant Mr. Nugent Bernard and Ms. Olivia Ned Alexander on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Bernard says that given the realities of the poultry industry, this project can have significant benefits for Grenada. The objective of this program is to see how we can revitalize, re-energize and increase poultry meat production in Greenland. Given the fact that we spend in, last time we spent was over 60 million plus dollars on frozen imported chicken. All right? Now, you know that the frozen imported chicken is not the best thing for us to eat. That, and that's the reality. This chicken is healthier to eat or a locally grown chicken. So government knows on a move to promote eating more local chicken, and that will do two things. Ensure uh, food nutrition, security in terms of protein need, and to come back on foreign exchange. Because just imagine you're spending over 16, 20 million dollars US. You know how much you could do locally? Farmers are scheduled to receive between 150 to 500 chicks, numbers that will be dependent on capacity of their farms along with feed to support their ventures. The training held on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week equips farmers with knowledge that helps them to reduce on mortality rates by employing proper brooding and post-hatch management techniques. The session was very informative. I thought I knew a lot about chicks, but... From the session, I realized the importance of the gut health in chicks. The environment in which you have your chicks also is important for good meat production. Well, it's a very good start because um, when it comes to financing for poultry farmers, it's very difficult to get financing. Um, the cost of feed and also the cost of chicks is very expensive. So that um, World Bank venture would be very um, helpful to most of the farmers, so that it would be a good start. It's like a capital and input. So with that, you uh, once it's managed properly, you could take off from there. It is a good venture, but it has been rough. But um, hanging in there, hoping that one day I could make an, a good impact because I understand the benefit of the poultry industry or, or the significance of the poultry industry. For years being in the, pool, in the poultry business, I think the initiative today is very encouraging because um, as we see, we import a lot of chicken. And if we can find a way to sort of um, buffer that, it will help a lot, including um, helping the farmers to have a sustainable income and also within the community. I, I think it's a very good initiative. What I thought, I think it's an excellent project. It's something that we should have had a long time and especially no after burial where you could literally see a shortage of local food stuff on the market. It will be something that could help to sort of restart the the local industry because i know it has been severely affected and a lot of farmers are looking out for whatever assistance that they can get day old broiler chicks are expected to arrive in grenada from barbados in the first and last week of october and handed over to the poultry farmers this initiative is one of the undertakings of component four of the world bank funded project which prioritizes support for the livestock and poultry industry